Aida is such an epic story and it's set in ancient Egypt, so it's such a wonderful opportunity for our costume designers to have a great time developing a really beautiful and elaborate look. Is that our last one? How's it feel? From head to toe, every artist is just really decked out in something memorable and remarkable and are just incredible to see. You take a shower, it mostly comes out, you don't see it very well, everything, but I think when you go home and stuff, you just like rub your like face and stuff, it's like, oh, there's stuff. Aida has a long tradition of involving animals in the production. This year we're so excited to have three animals. We're going to have a hawk named Vegas. So my name's Eddie Annell and I'm a bird trainer from the Cincinnati Zoo and my friend here is Vegas and she is a Harris hawk. She's marched in the opening day parade for the Reds for a couple years so she's, she's seen a lot of stuff. We'll also have two horses. One is a retired police horse. His name is Justice. Apparently he was in the opera once here before. That's according to my sergeant. My, my partner mentioned it to my sergeant today. My sergeant was like, oh yeah, Justice did that. The tree sergeant. I know, and he knows it. <laughs> you don't get anything until you're done working because you're bad if you get anything before that. Yeah, there is actually a horse from Miami University. His name is Gambler. He's never done this before. So, I mean, I'm just proud that he got up there. The only thing that really bothered him was the, the lights shut down and it was pitch black, so he just wasn't expecting that. But other than that, he's been really good. And they will proceed during the triumphal march scene and they'll act as guards to some of the prisoners. Well, Vegas' role is that we lead out a procession or a parade in the second act and we stay there until uh, the end of the song and then we take off. So it's, it's short but sweet. They look very regal and beautiful and they just really help make it a spectacle. There's so many people on stage. A lot of operas are just four or five people just singing the whole time. But with Aida, it's the sheer spectacle and the immense size of everything, uh, which is pretty awe-inspiring. And then you get to see animals too. It also has this really tender and touching love story that I think anyone can relate to. I don't, I don't know many operas that can come close to the, the sheer magnitude of it. We always love to end our summer season on a high note, and there's nothing higher than Aida. It is big and bold and beautiful, and it's one of those shows that we know people will walk away from. I have to see more opera. So, we hope that lots of people come join us at Music Hall and enjoy this amazing celebration.